Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Tuesday morning video. So I just want to capture this video basically by saying big week stock start now. That's kind of how I want to title this one. The reason I want to title this is because there's some, uh, today, there's some, there's two big stocks that are really reporting that are going to kind of set the tone for the market this week, in my opinion, as far as like a lot of the stocks, maybe if you guys follow the same stocks I am in, you guys will be in also. So it's going to set a lot of the mid caps, small caps, fintech, all that stuff. So it's really going to set the bar for it. The one, well, the two that are most interested in watching tomorrow, they both report after the bell. Uh, one is Google. There's obviously a private, or, well, ticker, ticker is G-O-O-G. Uh, Google's the, obviously the company. So everyone probably knows what Google is. If you're watching YouTube, uh, Google does own YouTube, if you didn't know that. So they own a lot of big platforms and you can get a real good consensus on you know how the economy's doing especially digitally off youtube as far as like advertisements uh, how much advertised revenue they're getting how much they're distributing what's uh the user activity and all that stuff so it gives you a really good outlook of how q1 really was so I don't really talk about the stock much because in my opinion the stock kind of ran and the time to buy a lot of especially like some YouTubers I even see now, they're like, oh, buying at 3,000 is a good deal. 25,000 a share is a good deal. They are doing a share split this summer, so people are excited about that. But they have a super strong balance sheet. They do have great growth. It's a great business model. It's obviously gonna grow in the future. But in my opinion, the time, I wasn't actually making YouTube videos at the time. I kind of took a break and I got real busy with things. But uh, I was buying uh, Google around 1,300 to 1,600 a share. So my cost base is $1,446. Even with this huge pullback, Google right now is 2,461. So it was over 3,000 not too long ago. I still have a 70% return. Uh, this is a long-term gain position of mine, all my shares. So in my opinion, it got a little overvalued. That's my opinion. That's why I don't really talk about it. I really like talking about the stocks that I am currently building out or ones that are on massive corrections right to average cost down. So this is one of the stocks I'm actually up 70% in this market still. I wouldn't be interested in averaging cost up unless it hits like 2000 or less in my opinion. I know that's probably not likely, but how I look at it is this, you know, people are real scared of recession. People are real scared of the war. People are real scared of inflation. People are scared that people are gonna stop spending. There's a lot of fear that's baked in this market right now. And if Google misses earnings tomorrow, I could see this stock pulling back anywhere from like three to 10%. And that's gonna pull down the whole indexes, all of them. They're all gonna pull down if that happens. If that does happen, I'd be more inclined maybe to buy it if it gets closer to this. If it rallies up off good news or they beat or they have a decent earnings and it stays kind of stagnant, I'm totally cool with my position. I don't know if I would really buy it at this price. There's so many good deals in the market. Obviously, it depends on your risk factor, your age, and you know, there's a lot of things. But you know, looking at it at this price, if I had to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't buy 2,461 right now. Um, so that's just my opinion. It doesn't look like a super good deal in the market right now. There's more risk than than reward, in my opinion. That's you know, based on other stocks in the market. So it's kind of my thoughts on Google. I think they're gonna have an okay earnings. I don't think they're gonna smash it out of the ballpark, but I also think they're they're not gonna have huge misses either. So I think it's kind of gonna just kind of float around where it is. That's my opinion. Microsoft, this is another big one. This is another trillion dollar market cap. I do not own Microsoft. I kind of like Google and other plays over it. I feel like Microsoft is kind of like an even a safer play and it's kind of like a I won't say it's a boring stock, but it's kind of one of, it just reminds me of like less risk, less innovation. It's just kind of old. It, like, it's kind of like comparing, you know, um, a Dell to like an Apple. It's just, Dell just reminds me of like office computers that are old. I don't know. So that's just my opinion. But same boat with these guys, you know, I'm not looking to buy this stock no matter what, but if they both miss or one misses, one beats, you know, it's really, it, it could set the pace for the market. If they both beat, and the market takes a positive, I could see like a mini rally uh, off the FIB line of the SPY and the QQQ. I could, you know, we're basically sitting at like 10 to 15% in both indexes. I could see this break like the 23 to 20, the 23 to 25% uh, Fibonacci line. So that would be good. We could kind of set the new bottom in my opinion like that. If we have two big misses, I could see it going below the zero FIB mark, which is 
kind of where I would prefer to buy if I needed to. I did not do much buying last week. I didn't do any buying yesterday. Another big event thing before I get into like my positions and all, you know, my thoughts and will I buy this week. Uh, Elon Musk put an offer on Twitter. The, the, uh, the board unanimously agreed to let him have it. I think they were trying to wait to see if there are any more offers in, but Elon's offer was like 30% or something crazy over fair market value. So if you think about it, Elon's kind of helping them out. And how do you say no to that? You know, you're not going to have another company go in there and be like, oh, well, I'm going to give you more money. And even though he's giving you a crazy amount. So I think Elon has big plans for it. That just shows you how confident he is in his business move. You know, he's not going to do that to make you know, to lose money. He, he knows what he's going to turn it into and make it successful. So it's real sweet. I mean, I'm super happy about it. I think that, you know, it's good for social media. It's good to get things shaken up sometimes. And, you know, I, you know, some people can say, oh, Elon, you know, he's kind of a loose cannon. Yeah, he might be. But at the end of the day, I really think he has people's best intentions in mind. That's, that's my personal opinion. So I'm kind of excited about it personally. Um, I don't know how the employees are, you know, think of it there. I mean, I'm sure they're a little upset. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes probably coming up in the next six months, but we'll see what comes of that. That was kind of real big news yesterday. It was basically on CNBC all day, and that's all they talked about in the back half. Uh, Dow finished up 0.7%. S&P finished up 0.5%. NASDAQ finished up 1.2%. My portfolio did not outperform really any of them almost. It only finished up 06 um, small caps, uh, Tattoo Chef, Corsair Gaming, their larger positions of mine, they were not doing well yesterday. They did not finish green, so that's probably why I was lagging here a little bit on the indices. That's just my opinion. Everything else did great, though. So yesterday, the market was crazy. It opened up. You know, pre-market, it was down. And then when it opened, it went down. Then, you know, this is, this is middle. Down, up, down. It was, like, confused. And then when it hit afternoon, it kind of just got this crazy rally up into close. So that shows you hope that people are antsy, people are optimistic on the week for earnings. So that's a good sign, uh, especially if you're mainly priced in the market. I would be totally content in this market to not put another dollar in for a month or two. I've been buying super heavy the past six, eight weeks. So I'd be totally cool with that. If it goes down, I need to take advantage of it though. So either way, I think I put myself in a position personally to win-win in either situation. So what my plan is, Basically, I'm going to sit tight, be patient. I probably will not buy anything tomorrow during the trading day unless something really crazy happens during the trading day. Uh, will I buy this week? Absolutely, I might buy if there's major pullbacks or these guys both miss in the market. The whole indices pull back another 1% to 5%. You know, Maybe the S&P goes 15% year-to-date uh, backwards or maybe, dare I say, even hit a bear market this week, like 20%. So if the Russell 2000, the QQQ, and the S&P 500 all hit 20% year-to-date backwards, that makes it a bear market. I have to take advantage of that. You, don't, like you get that once every, not often, maybe once every decade you have that opportunity. So you got to take advantage of the stocks you like. The ones I like are high growth, double digit, strong balance sheet, um, you, know, you, know, you know, companies that make it through really anything. So... Uh, long term, they'll be fine. Short term, they might feel a little bit of pain. But as a long term investor, that's kind of how I do things. And it's been working for me for the past couple of years. Um, there's been, you know, I, I feel like there's two or three crazy changes in the market we had, you know, in tw 2018 and 2019, it was just slow and steady, minus that uh, winter in 2018. But let's just say 2019, slow and steady. COVID hit, dropped off the face of the earth, rallied back. No one thought that V-shaped recovery. And then we went a year and a half of just insane gains. And then now we just like lost all of it and then some. So, you know, in the past three years, it's been, you, you've kind of had all three kinds of markets just all real quick. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. I mean, really, no matter what market you throw at me, as a long-term investor, I'll take advantage of it. So at this time, you know, it's just grind time. Just, just grind, save, buy, invest, and then you'll thank yourself later. So till tomorrow, I'll probably make a video on one of these two tomorrow, whatever one I find more appealing. Probably Google because I own it. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, subscribe and uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.